Hello, I'm Clackamas County Chair Tootie Smith. And I'm Maria Pope, President and CEO of Portland General Electric. Disaster can strike at any time, causing you to have to evacuate your home at a moment's notice. That happened to me during the Labor Day wildfires. There are also disasters that may require us to shelter in place for several days. This happened to many residents during the historic February ice storms. It did. It's so important that we are prepared. We are preparing ourselves and we ask you to join us. Today we are packing our emergency kits. These kits supply the essentials we need if we have to shelter in place or evacuate. That's right. And emergencies can come in any form and such as wildfires, storms, earthquakes, school and work emergencies. Mm -hmm. Being prepared for emergencies means having a written plan as well as supplies. And remember, your plan should be tailored to meet your specific situation. Right. This may mean preparing for infants, elderly, or disabled family members. And don't forget your pets and livestock. When building your emergency kit, you'll want to plan for at least three days of supplies. Let's start with the basics, food and water. Keep non-perishable food in both your home emergency kit and go bag. If you're packing canned goods, don't forget a manual can opener and have one gallon of water per person per day. And a few other things to include, portable radio and flashlights, spare batteries, an extra set of car keys, cash and credit cards, mm. backup charging for a phone or laptop, and any special items for infants, elderly or disabled family members. There are several other items you will need. Hygiene kit, sanitation kit, medications, first aid kit, a whistle, tools, and local maps we may not be able to rely on GPS. And don't forget to pack emergency phone numbers. I was really glad I took this with me when I had to evacuate. And in it, I have all of the emergency items we talk about. But for me, I also take a, a good supply of supplements and or my prescriptions. Also my personal favorite to keep me company is chocolate covered raisins. One item that has become invaluable to me is my legacy binder. Because if your electricity goes out, you may not have internet access to get a hold of your bank information, your insurance information, all of your medical information, and I have paper copies as well. It's also good for estate planning. And don't forget about packing for your kids and your pets. Add some things that will keep you comfortable like I did during the disaster, such as games or your favorite comfort food. Packing an emergency kit is easy, but it takes time to gather yes. all the supplies and certainly creating a binder like yours, Chair Smith. When you have your kit packed, keep it in a cool, dry place and somewhere that is easily accessible to you so you can grab it and go. Be sure everyone in your home knows where to find it. There are plenty of resources available online to help you pack your disaster kit. You can visit our website at clackamas.us slash dm to learn more. You can also visit ready.gov and the American Red Cross. And if your electricity is interrupted in any way, please go to portlandgeneral.com for updates. Thank you for joining us. Please keep up those emergency preparations. It takes a community to prepare for a disaster. We'll see you soon. Thank you.